Hello, this is Ute and Ken from Ute's Herbal Rich Corner and today we are talking about getting older and our experience about getting older because I'm 61 and you are 66 so we are counting to the elder purple, uh, people <laughs> yeah so a lot of times people ask us well I have this and this pain Yes, we always say, go to your doctor, find out what it is first. Now, his best thing is mostly, or the most doctors, well, I can give you something against the pain and it'll heal. No, it's hmm. not healing. It's covering the pain. So mostly the doctor is not asking you, um, did you hurt yourself somehow? Did you turn around the wrong way? Did you fall? No, they're just saying, okay, you have pain. Um, here's the painkiller. Don't even look at the side effects. That's what I'm talking always about. Um, take it for a week and then you are without pain. The real truth is that if you know where it's coming from, like we know, we go to our doctor, he tells us, well, that's a nerve from the back, even if it's hurting down in your leg. Okay, well, I got this pain in my leg. How can that be covered from my back? Well, don't worry. I have a painkiller here, blah, 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 as we know. The truth is, you have an infection somewhere to help with that infection. That's what the natural herbs are for. They do not have big side effects with kidney problems and all that. They go direct to the source where it's needed. That's the most important thing to know. They go directly. Just taking a painkiller and doing some exercise alone will not help. That takes it for the short run. Now where we're older too, we realize, hmm, yes, I hurt my back. Well, how did I hurt it? Well, I took on a lot of carrying and a lot of weight, and I am not used to. My body is not used to that. Anymore. Anymore. Back in the day when I was younger, no problem. <laughs> but today, it's different. The older we get, the lesser exercise and the lesser muscles and body movements we are making. So, on top of taking natural herbs for infections, for pain relief. And that is mostly, as I said, it's not a pain relief, what you're looking for. It's something to get to that spot where it's needed to heal with antibiotics, natural antibiotics, and a lot of other things. But this will go directly there. Of course, I could take for six days painkillers and then go off and think, oh yeah, it's good now. Did I do anything good for myself? Not really. I only took a painkiller. And what's that going to do with other side effects I have from that painkiller now? Because my kidneys are now hurting. Oh, there's hmm. another pill then, the doctor says. There's another pill for that. <laughs> so... Just for an example, I hurt really, really back my knee on the right hand side. I don't even know how I didn't fall, I didn't slip. And of course I can go to the doctor and he would say, as Ken said, here are some painkillers. But how did I get this? Why does my knee hurt? Why was I unable to work properly or walk properly? And it's really, really painful. So even myself, as your master herbalist, sometimes I have to go to the doctor, but I'm not go went to a normal doctor. I went to the how is it called Physio physician physiotherapy. physiotherapy. So and they don't give you any medication, so they give me some instruction for exercise, and for example, with such a little thing, you can buy an Amazon, you can put your your leg in it, and you just do some stretching like this not overdo it and some other just moving your leg exercising. or exercising 
So everything without any painkiller. Because I, we, hate painkiller. Not because we are herbalists, but we don't want to get everything covered. We just want to heal. And in our age, it's important to heal. It doesn't help me if he would give me an injection or whatever for my knee or can for his back and shoot the pain away. But we don't know what we have done wrong or we don't learn how to prevent it because it's covered and we are running around like 20 years ago and five weeks later we have the same issue again because we don't know how to handle it or where it came from. That's an important thing to know. When we were young, we could do things that wouldn't hurt our body. Yes, both of us work still full time. I get at least 10 miles a day on my feet every day at work, five days a week. But when we were younger, we were doing a lot more than that. We were doing exercises that we didn't even realize. So with just walking 10 miles a day, does not help the other muscles you have in your body, the other bones, okay? Important is to realize, even when you get older, the better exercise, and I mean small, I don't mean about running, jumping, that's not going to help, okay? I mean stretching, exercising your muscles slowly and everything. That's important to keep these movements going. Otherwise, it's like two metal pieces screwed together. Okay, they should be moving, but the more water and the more dirt gets in there, the harder they are to move. Door hinges, you have to oil them because dust and dirt gets in there. <laughs> so if you don't move it every day, stretch it to the full. Okay, with the time, they'll get stiff. It's used to only going this much. So that's why I say it's very important to realize when you get older, you have to have an exercise plan in there. Not just, well, I, I walk my 10 miles a day. That's enough. No, it's not. And it would not help if you sign up for a fitness center and doing all of this exercise because... Again, in our age, it doesn't help because our bones and our joints are not made for this anymore. So we need definitely, as Ken said, we need to find exercise what is matching our age. We doing everything slow and getting to the point where you can say, okay, now it doesn't hurt here anymore or it doesn't hurt here. And if it's happened again, we know how to handle it without painkiller that's the same thing so back when we were young we would whip our heads around like anything <laughs> and yeah try that today if you're in our age take your head but slowly i don't want you to get hurt okay <laughs> knark, take your head knark, and do knark. this and listen listen to what you're hearing in there that's how the exercise is supposed to be done slowly Otherwise, you'll be getting a whiplash. <laughs> but hear and listen. That's calcium around the bones and other stuff that have built up there. So one day, because your head is only used to go this far, what will happen is if you have to go around, you're going to injure yourself. So better is to know what exercises in your age you should be doing. Now, a joke, by, a joke in here, thinking that Jägermeister is full with herbs, <laughs> okay, and that you can drink a Jägermeister after every dinner. It's full with herbs, natural herbs. It it's helps healthy. You. <laughs> well, that's three times a day at least, or maybe two times, but before you know it, you'll be an alcoholic. So that's <laughs> not the way to do it, okay? We got to keep our bones, our joints, oiled and moving. Not in an extreme way, in a slow way, but exercising. That's very important. And we think this message is very important for you. Yes, 
Every herb we have here helps with the syndrome that you have. The system is not taking painkillers. That goes to the nerve and kills the nerve, not kills the nerve, but numbs the nerve of its pain, but does not heal the injury that we have. What do you say to that? You're right, I feel it every day. <laughs> <laughs> and as Ken said, he's working full time and he has, I don't know how many steps per day. As you all know, I'm working as a correction officer. I have to go 12 hours in a 12 hour shift. I don't know how often up the stairs and down the stairs. And still, I thought for myself, yeah, that's enough ex exercise. No, what it's comes not. on top of that is where you're walking on. Oh, yeah. I used to be a marathon runner, a very good one. Years ago. And my, yeah, when I was very <laughs> young. But I've learned back then already, too. You need the right shoes. You need to walk. You're walking on cement all day. It doesn't matter what you do. If you don't have the right shoes that can bolster that hit on your back, you're going to get back pain. Yeah. No matter what. Your legs, your backbones need some support. Okay? Not painkillers. But need support. That doesn't mean... Well, I got to buy these expensive arches for in the shoe or something. No, there's other ways out there too. And to strengthen your body every day with natural herbs to prevent infections. No, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> we talked along and this is very unusual. But we thought this would be helpful for you as well. And if you want to hear more tips around getting older and still want to be kind of healthy, age related, then let us know. And maybe you left us or leave us. Left leave us. us. Please hit the subscribe button. And leave us a, a message, message down there. Yeah. And I guess that's for today. Well, on top of that, she can't forget it. Remember. I'm we not are. a doctor, <laughs> I'm a master herbalist, I'm your master herbalist and we share our own experience, we are sharing our experience from our clients, so we will not give you any advice for any medication or anything, therefore you have to go to your doctor if you want to, okay? So this was our dog, this is Clark, um, I guess he's hungry, so... This was our video for today. Totally different um, thing you can learn about. And yeah, if you like it, let us know. And we are more than happy to bring more videos um, like this on our YouTube channel. Okay? Thank you. S see you soon. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.